podcasting from Woodstock, Georgia. Welcome to Soul Solutions, the show where we overcome our fears and our limiting beliefs. I'm your host, author, and certified life coach, Terry Kozlowski. Hello, warriors. Are you looking for less stress in your life? Do you need help, like my coaching services, to realize you have the power within you to overcome stress? Are you looking to overcome your fears and limiting beliefs? If so, you can join my new Facebook group called Soul Solutions for Survivors and Overcomers. The link is in the show notes. Don't allow your egoic thoughts to keep you stressed and worried. Now let's start this week's episode. Episode 136. Clearly noticing your stress triggers will actually help you relax. Life frequently pulls you in multiple ways at once, which can trigger stress. You may think about how to finish a work project, what to make for dinner, or when to pick up the kids, all at the same time. This stress can cause your emotions to overwhelm you, overburden your thinking, and cause you to react negatively or simply shut down. It's critical to stand back in these stressful situations and consider how you got here. Although stress is a natural response of your body to demanding situations or threats. Prolonged stress without a break in between pressures can harm your physical and mental health. Fortunately, it's possible to stop stress in its tracks. The goal is to recognize your stress triggers and implement effective coping mechanisms. So how can you identify the source of your stress? While you're in the thick of it, how do you become conscious of what drains you hinders your productivity, and harms your health? Stop, remain still, and direct your focus to your breathing and feelings throughout your body. Then return to the present moment. You may overcome life's obstacles by establishing a separation between the egoic mind and your conscious reaction. What is stress? When you're under stress, your body releases adrenaline and cortisol in reaction to a threat or significant difficulty. Everyone reacts to stress in different ways, but in most cases, your fight or flight response raises your heart rate. People get anxious about themselves, their environment, and the course of action they should follow. Every area of your life might cause stress. There's always a chance of experiencing stress at any time. Therefore, it's crucial to have effective stress management skills. It's a typical everyday occurrence that everyone encounters. So rather than allowing it to rule your life, why not learn how to confront it head on? What are stress triggers? Although it may feel like stress might strike out of the blue, your stress triggers are intentional. They're made to protect your body from many dangers. However, they do more than merely keep you safe. Any form of a trigger reveals the difficulties you experience, the things that are important to you, and how your way of life affects your wellness. They offer glimpses into your true authentic self rather than merely what you portray to the outside world as you wear your masks and armor. Knowing what stresses you enables you to become more self-aware and reveals what you must do to lead a healthy life. Because there are various types of stresses, including acute and chronic stress, stress triggers are found everywhere. It's important to emphasize the distinction between good and negative stress. E-stress is a type of healthy stress that helps you experience excitement and anticipation. Athletes experience it before a game, much as you do before beginning your ideal job or moving into a new home. Although it may seem like you must avoid stressors at all times, life doesn't have to be shocking or overwhelming. Understanding your stress reactions enables you to create coping mechanisms to manage them. Three types of stress triggers. It's frightening to realize that stress can have a variety of sources but it might be useful to recognize each stressor and comprehend its causes. The National Institute of Mental Health identifies three stressors that can lead to either short-term or long-term stress. 
Think about your level of tension and whether any of the following situations apply to you. Number one, routine stress. These events serve as triggers since they occur regularly. Things like severe workloads bring routine stress as well, dealing with your children or household chores. Number two, disruptive stress. Although changes are a constant part of life, occasionally they raise stress levels. These triggers may appear after a move, a job change, or a birth of a child. This could be brought on by anything that alters how you typically conduct your life. Number three, extreme trauma, such as being involved in an accident, suffering violent abuse, or having to deal with the death of a loved one causes these triggers. It's challenging to learn how to manage these triggers, which is why it's crucial to have social support or take part in support groups if needed. Find an individual who can assist you in identifying your stressors and developing coping mechanisms. A coach like me can help you as you develop your self-awareness and identify the aspects of your life that are stressing you out the most. Understanding your stress triggers. If you don't know what's generating your stress, it's difficult to manage it. Finding the source of your stress is the first step in this process. Once you know what your stress triggers are, you can be proactive to avoid them or develop a coping mechanism for when stress overwhelms you. Most people's main stressors include the following six items. Number one, health. The stress that comes with disease can make chronic health conditions or a serious diagnosis, whether it's you or a loved one, much worse. Number two, money. For many, major sources of stress include unpaid bills, medical debt, worries about the economy, and worries about supporting your family and living comfortably. Number three, family. You may be the primary caretaker for an elderly family member, or you may juggle work and home obligations while parenting young children. Regardless of your family circumstances, taking care of others can be a significant cause of stress, particularly when routines and support systems have been thrown off. Daily obligations appear to multiply as self-care is neglected. Number four, relationship problems. While many people believe important stressful decisions like where to raise your family or what values you want to instill in your children cause relationship stress, Many times, it's the little things that cause the most stress with another, such as who's doing the laundry, who forgot to take out the garbage, and who's next on diaper duty. Number five, work. For many people, their jobs are a significant source of stress. Unrealistic deadlines or demands can bring workplace stress, a never-ending to-do list, a demanding supervisor, or drama-filled co-workers. Additionally, modern technology keeps us constantly connected to our jobs, which is a method to guarantee high levels of stress. Number six, important life changes. Significant birthday, a divorce, passing of a loved one, being pregnant, or a move. Big life transition can be extremely stressful. Try journaling for a week if you aren't sure of what stresses you out. You can determine when you are most stressed and the circumstances of it by looking back on the entire week. Healthy coping mechanisms. What is the most effective method for doing this for you? Consider a time in your past when you were carefree and stress-free. How about your childhood? What pastimes or interests did you enjoy? Perhaps you adored swimming and would spend most of your free time in the pool. Maybe you were coloring, dancing, riding your bike, or playing with Legos. A good sign of how you should manage stress is your former interests. Those pastimes are the ones that naturally make you happy, free from social obligations or demands of your never-ending to-do list. Stress is a regrettable feature of life. The good news is there are many techniques to reduce stress. The trick is figuring out how you can ease your stress most effectively. Here are 10 coping mechanisms to reduce the stress in your life. Number one, meditate. Stress can be successfully treated with meditation. It helps rid your mind of stressful ideas and fosters a serene state of mind that persists long after a meditation session. It also can be done anywhere, anytime. Better still, it only requires five minutes. Number two, breathe. The act of breathing itself may be a very instructive tool 
for understanding how you respond to unpleasant situations and can also serve as a technique for overcoming them. When faced with a choice, focusing on your breath might help you come to a wiser and more healthy conclusion. The next time life makes you uncomfortable, pause and pay attention to your breathing. Give your mind some time to relax by taking a few deep breaths for a few seconds or minutes. You'll be able to manage the situation coolly as a result. Number three, move. Your body communicates with you about your health. Your physical tightness may be a sign of how securely you hold your emotions. Tightening your muscles in challenging circumstances can cause pain or soreness. Stress-related muscle and joint tension and strain can be reduced by moving and stretching throughout the day. It's crucial to keep in mind to get up and move. Pause for a bit to stretch or take a stroll. Exercise lower levels of stress hormones such as cortisol and adrenaline and releases potent endorphins into the brain which improve mood, promote relaxation, and serve as natural painkillers. Number four, create. A great way to decompress is through the arts. Any form of creative expression, including painting, knitting, carpentry, coloring, sculpture, and photography can lower stress. In fact, studies have shown that after 45 minutes of creative engagement, people's cortisol levels were significantly lower. Number five, connect. Call a buddy or be of service to someone. Humans are social beings with a built-in need to interact with others. An excellent method to relieve stress is to get together with a friend, join a virtual group, or lend a hand to a neighbor. It increases the oxytocin hormone through social interaction, which also lowers anxiety and may help you handle stressful situations better. Number six, nature. Spend time outside. Studies have shown immersing yourself in nature provides a variety of health advantages, including lower blood pressure, reducing anxiety, and elevating mood. The good news is that spending just two hours outside each week can significantly improve your health. Number seven, imagine. You can get away from your troubles and daily anxieties by losing yourself in a good book or a favorite playlist. Creative escapism in this way diverts the intellect and activates the imagination. Number eight, reframe. Brains can be retrained to stop damaging stress reactions. Try using the following phrases aloud while feeling worried or look for more personal ones to use. For example, I don't have to be perfect. It's not personal. I don't have to have all the answers. I can handle this one step at a time. Stress reactions can be beneficial. They're alerts to pay attention to something, but it's up to you to lower your stress levels by making sure that your self-talk is positive. Number nine, problem solve. Become solution focused. Making excuses for oneself or complaining doesn't help much. The time to act is now. Understand that the issue and your response to it are different things. Prepare some suggestions for a resolution to a stressful issue or give some wise counsel to yourself as if you are another person. It may be possible to facilitate the flow of solutions by removing oneself just a bit from the problem. Number 10, forgive. Reduce self-blame and forgive your missteps. Everyone errors and harbors regrets. Simply move forward, pay attention to the solutions, and take pride in being proactive. It's never too late to make a difference. Use personal declarations spoken out loud to combat the propensity for self-criticism. Moving forward, stress-free. Discovering what causes you to feel stressed and anxious can help you learn to stop those feelings from taking control of your emotions, thoughts, and well-being. You also gain the ability to return to the present moment. Now that you can specify your stress triggers, you can start to recognize the types that affect you the most. With recognition comes the ability to implement tactics and strategies to help overcome the tension that you encounter during the day so that you can learn to prevent stress before it occurs. Thus, you can learn to love 
the life you have. Do you need help identifying your stress triggers? Are you looking for support to empower yourself to overcome the tension and relax? Do you want a strategy to help you create an extraordinary life? Consider using my coaching services by contacting me at terrykozlowski.com if you feel you can't move forward alone. Together, we can create an action plan for you to identify your stress triggers and implement coping mechanisms for you to overcome the tension in your life. To discover how I learned to deal with the stress of everyday life, you can do so by reading Raven Transcending Fear, a book I wrote which is available on Amazon, or you can go to raventranscendingfear.com for more information. Thanks for listening to Soul Solutions with Terry Kozlowski. If you'd like the show and want to learn more, check out terrykozlowski.com where you can find the links to everything we talked about in this episode. Please subscribe to the show so you'll never miss an episode as we overcome our fears and our limiting beliefs.